In this Excel lesson, uh, Excel 2010, I want to talk about your formatting features. We don't spend as much time formatting in Excel as we tend to do in Word. However, a lot of the same options that we learned in Word apply in Excel. Um, your font menu, of course, your alignment menu. Uh, you've also got the ability to format your numbers here. So I'm not going to spend too much time on the basic stuff, but of course you can select all of these titles and center them and make them bold if you like. There are other things that you need to know um, with Excel is, first of all, this is all money. So we would probably want to adjust your decimal places so that they all have two decimal places. So this is increase here and this is decrease. Now. Some of them had more, some of them had less. So by just going one way and then going the other, you can get all of your numbers to the same place. So now I have two decimal places for all these, which is great. You can take all of this and make it look like money very simply and easily. And then that's done. Very user-friendly, straightforward. Your labels here have other options as well. You have the ability to set them on an angle or rotate up. I wish we had a, a, a preview option like we do in Word where it would show you how this would look, uh, but we don't. So you actually have to click on it. And if you don't like the way that looks, of course you've got undo. And then you can try the others to see whether or not they would work for you. We see a lot of these angles here like this. You would probably use these um, if your labels are too wide and they, they knock you onto two sheets. Uh, I see that a lot of people like to turn these because they are quite a bit wider than your numbers. So that's very common for that kind of thing. You're, uh, you're able to fill your cells, of course, with whatever colors you want. You're able to choose grid lines as well. Uh, one thing a lot of people uh, don't realize is typically when you when you print this sheet you're not going to get any grid lines so right now we're seeing that there are no grid lines and I find spreadsheets awfully difficult to read without the actual lines so if you want the grid lines to print you you have to actually set them so that they would print the easiest way to do that is to go to your page layout tab and actually click this and say print the grid lines right you'd be able to select your whole table and add the grid lines but I find this to be much easier and now if we go back to print preview it should show us that yes the grid lines will print now it's not a default setting so you'd have to do it every time the other thing that you need to know is the ability to format an entire table quickly and easily so you would select your group of cells and then you can come here and format as a table and choose any one of these neat styles and make your spreadsheet look fantastic All right so now it's giving it some colors some effects don't be concerned with the drop down boxes okay those are advanced features that allow you to sort uh, your data very easily we'll talk about that in advanced lessons if you go to print preview once again you'll see that those little arrows don't actually show if and when you printed okay so that's not actually there so neat little feature to make your spreadsheet look rather professional rather easily